The headquarters of the United Nations Green Climate Fund, the world's largest fund in climate change, also had its grand opening today right here in Korea. Hundreds of officials from home and abroad, including President Park Geun-hye, Korea's finance minister and the chief of the World Bank, were in attendance. Arirang's Hwang Ji-hye reports from the venue. The headquarters of the United Nations Green Climate Fund has opened to much fanfare. About a year after Korea was chosen as the host country for the world's single biggest source of financing, the fight against climate change. The opening ceremony was held on Wednesday at the headquarters in the Songdo International Business District of Incheon, just west of the capital's Seoul. I think today is a very special day. Not only we celebrate the opening of World Bank, Korea office, and GCF headquarters. I would like to thank you personally, Madam President Park, your government, the National Assembly, and the Korean people for all the support over the last two years in this institution being built. The Green Climate Fund launched in 2010 focuses on supporting developing countries and tackling global warming and other problems related to climate change. The fund is expected to mobilize 100 billion U.S. dollars a year in climate finance starting from the year 2020. The president of the World Bank says Korea's selection to host the headquarters underlines its heightened status on the international stage. There were many countries that desperately wanted to have the GCF based in their country. And the fact that Korea won that competition is a huge um, uh, acknowledgement of the importance of the Republic of Korea in the world today. In support of the Global Cause Korea has pledged $1 million every year until 2019 in operation costs and an additional $1.4 million for office supplies. For the next six months, the Green Climate Fund will finalize the rules and procedures for receiving public and private funds to address issues regarding climate change. Hwang Jie, Arirang News.